Hello, Acron fans, and welcome to the second day of the Rockmox Tournament casts. These are replay casts from the Christmas tournament that Rockmox hosted from December 21st to the 23rd. And we've currently seen quite a few games played thus far. As you can see from the grab brackets, quite a few players have been knocked out. There were 11 players originally, and now we only have JRC versus Rockmox, Ferret versus Crown Aberrant, Haiku Trillionized. Electro and Stakhanov will be fighting each other in the next replay, and Shalka and Vermind will be playing once Haiku Trillion Eyes, Electro and have finished their games to figure out who gets out of the loser's bracket. This is a double elimination tournament, so of course anyone getting knocked out from the first bracket will not be completely knocked out until they're knocked out of the loser's bracket. But being that this is a match between Electro and Stakhanov, which we see are in the loser's bracket, this will be a pretty exciting match. Whoever loses will be out of the tournament completely. Anyway, I'm Shadow for 33 your host, and let's get started. So we have Electro on the east side of the map, not choosing his race yet, and no, choosing CISO. And Stakhanov on the left side of the map, probably choosing Vekgear. And he is. So Vekgear versus CISO. This should be very interesting because I think we saw one of these before, but we don't see them a lot, especially in non-tournament matches. Grekum is very frequently played, it's probably the most popular race. So we often see CISO versus Grekum, not so much CISO versus Vekir. And so kind of immediately going towards the center of the map, very immediately going to, wow, he's not even going to scout, or if he is, he's going to scout through the center of the map, which, which signals to me that he is planning on expanding there. Very, only a few RPs in his main base, while Electro is Building up through RPs and importer, he'll be getting a factory soon for ATHCs. Last time he went for a 4 ATHC attack and proxy here, so he looks like he's doing exactly that while scouting out with his special ops and marine. We'll be finding that Sakana's base is completely empty. And Sakana, of course, is going towards the center of the map. We'll see him expanding there, I'm sure. He has a Shinbeer and Tethbeer going towards the actual resource as well as Zinebeer is now also going towards those resources. So he is definitely focused on the center of the map, very quickly trying to take it. I don't know if this will pay off. Electro might catch on pretty quickly that Sakhanov is going towards the center of the map and not his main base when he sees his main base completely devoid of any military units. But I'm not sure if Electro is expecting Sakhanov to go towards the north here. This is a pretty risky move given that his main base is completely undefended and currently that's Sakhanov's only source of resources. But it looks like he is definitely committed to this. So Sakhanov is... Also getting auto defense, so we can easily get up bastions or just even use foundations as defense. But that likely won't be relevant. It doesn't deal a huge amount of damage. For an annex, fending off a special ops and marine, it might be enough, but still, Electro is probably going to get suspicious. And it's kind of coming in from the north to scout out Electro's base after setting up. Well, it has a Shinbeer using his Tethbeer to scout. A Shinbeer is still up in the base. His Zinebeer is building up a, Zine, a resource processor, and the annex is. Trying to fend off the Special Ops and Marine, but it's taking way too long to do so. So, with Auto Defense, that is not nearly enough. Sakhanov is losing the Annex, but I'm sure he's going to go back and change that. Electro jumping back about a minute down from there. Getting a second Importer near his factory. He has his first ATHC coming up, the 225 mark. And, as I mentioned before, his infantry is doing just fine. So, jumping back up about half a minute. Sakhanov, oh, Sakhanov just jumped back a minute, so he's at the two-minute mark. <laughs> Not sure if he's going to be building any foundations near his base. No, he's building a Zion V at his base. That's a much better idea than an additional foundation. He's also getting his RP, so he doesn't have any loss in RPs. He had enough resources in order to build that. So he's good there, but Electro still doing a lot of damage to his main base. This Zion V will be something of a threat. But only in that it'll weaken the special ops so the Annex actually has a small chance of killing it before it itself dies. Still not going to do too much, but it might... Sakhanov just might get lucky. Hard to say, though, because this is dealing a lot of damage. His Annex is going down. I think Sakhanov will get... Or, looks like actually something changed up here. Let's see. No, Sakhanov is the one who has the... Well, he's further in the future, so he... No. Electro definitely is going to lose his Special Ops. The Annex are over at half health before this happens, so... The Annex will probably just barely live... But at this point, two ATCs are up, Electra's building a third, he really should be sending them out now, should be scouting out, because obviously the main base is not well defended, so the initial units must be elsewhere, if that's the case. Now we jump back to the 232 mark when the Zion Beer came in originally, and nothing really is changing there, so kind of 
he appears to be... Oh, he's hanging back one of the Shindu years, so he can better defend his main base while still scouting with the Tethvir. He doesn't have... Like I said, I, this is a really risky move. I don't know why he went to the center this quickly. He could have just developed his main base, possibly gone to the north or south. Like possibly gone to the north and then up through the north to the center, but he's making a huge risk by doing this. And his annex, like I said, his annex will be going down pretty quickly. The Shinvir is going to try to defend, which should that should be successful. Deathvir going to scout will also see that Electro is not in his main base, and I don't know if like I said, I don't know if either player suspects the other doing something fishy. Looks like Electro is just trying to take out this annex while he has the chance, and it looks like he will be able to do so if the Shin. Yeah, the Shinbeer is actually too slow. The Annex will be going down. So that Annex is just about to be no more. There it goes. And there's nothing really Sakanov kind of can do about that unless he moves back his forces right near the unplayable past edge. That's all he has left, but that will jeopardize his ability to really expand up here. But like I said, I'm not sure if Electro suspects anything. He should suspect something. He should really be suspecting a lot. This is extremely fishy. There's nothing usual about what's going on here. It's kind of... He set himself up in a very open way, and that should ring alarm bells. Now kind of is actually sending back his forces at the unplayable past edge, so Electro will not be able to take out the Annex, but still, from the angle they're coming at, it should be very suspicious. They're obviously coming in from an unusual angle. They're not coming in from the middle at all, because he didn't intercept them, so this center area being the most lucrative expansion is the most likely point that Sakana's forces are going to be, but Electro looks like he's waiting for four HDHCs before he goes out and attacks. He has three right now, just about ready to afford the fourth, one more RP cycle, and there he goes, there's the fourth. Sakhanov has four RPs in his north base, from Electro's point of view, he's definitely gets at least five by the time he gets up there, so he's... He is working on expanding here, but like I said, this is a very risky move, and I don't know how he intends to make this pay off. His annex being defended now, that's useful, but it's still going to be a bit tricky. If, he fi if Electro finds this north expansion, Sakhanov is dead. He's absolutely dead, and Electro... Now having his 48 HC, he's getting a 50 HC. Oh, this is unusual. I expect he last time he went only at four, but I wonder if he's particularly paranoid about what Stakhanov has because Stakhanov is now benefiting from the fact that Electro is delaying. Stakhanov actually is getting two foundations. He's going to get a depot once. Yeah, he throws one of the RPs on QP, getting another one on QP. He's going to get a depot very soon. He should teleport one of these RPs to QP as well to make it really fast and just push out depot and air units. I mean, at this point, Electro has not attacked yet. I don't know if he's waiting for the. The only thing that comes to mind is the unplayable past edge, which has come up right now, and it... Well, Electro is definitely here, but I don't see him attacking with anything. Like, an edge attack with four ATHCs is what I'd be expecting, which is... Appear, appears to be coming up now. So I'll probably be waiting until that's done, and once that is done, he'll go for the attack with four ATHCs. But it's kind of up at the five minute or six minute mark. He's going to be... Well, he's going to be in a pretty good position. He can afford a depot now. He can get an, eight, an aerial control center fairly soon after. Not sure why he hasn't purchased the depot in question, but he can't afford it. There it goes. Okay. Getting his depot. Aerial control center is going to be right here. And he has auto defense, so he can build a bastion if he needs to. As long as... If Electro's edge attack goes, which he's going for now, that... The entire game hinges on this edge attack that Electro's pulling off. That's going to be the entire game. If Electro pulls it off, Sakana's going to lose. Otherwise, Sakana has a great economic advantage. Electro has not built up at all, and Sakana has completely hidden his expansion attempts and apparently gotten away with it. Though, there's still a couple minutes before it falls in the unplayable past, and Electro can't really do anything about it. So, right now, Electro still has a chance to harass it. A chance he doesn't seem to be going for it in earnest. I don't think he knows it's there. I, I really don't think he's suspicious of the center expansion. So, I think he just suspects that Sakana doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> and it's not... Like, I realize the metagame for Akron is not the most solid, so you can't always tell, oh, something is lacking in his base, therefore stuff happens, but... Oh, Electro actually apparently in the chat saying he was in fact suspicious. However, he's not acting on that suspicion from what I can tell. He is simply attacking the main base and dealing a fair amount of damage as well. These foundations will be going down in no time. Which will eliminate Sakana's ability to spend his money, but he still has a lot of money. And really, all he needs to do is get a Shin Beer around, drop a foundation. What the? Uh, Sakana surrendered. Okay, I guess Sakana, realizing he couldn't hold that off, just decided to not bother. That's bizarre. Okay, that. 
that's a thing, apparently. So, well done to Electro for managing to get through that. And it looks like we have... That is a game. So, Electro has beaten Sakanov. Sakanov is out of the tournament. Electro moving on to second round of the loser's bracket against Shaka. And the next game will be between Rockmox and JRC, because that's the one that was played next. So we'll be getting to that shortly. Don't go away, I will be back in a minute. <laughs> 